Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. The first card says, I don't understand what this connection really is. So it looks like your person was feeling a little bit confused in this relationship. Your person didn't know how to process their feelings for you. You were both highly attracted to each other and there was a deep bond. But this is the type of person that doesn't like to get too close too fast. So that's why at times they were distancing themselves from you. And they just couldn't fathom why they were so drawn to you. When you met this person, they didn't want anything serious or long term. But they couldn't turn off their feelings for you. For some of you, you broke up with this person several times, but they kept on coming back. That's why it says, I don't understand what this connection really is because they couldn't stay away from you. The next card says, I know that we are spiritually connected. So it looks like they have been doing some research collective. This person has researched twin flame or soulmate connections. They knew that there was something deeper between you two. They knew that this wasn't an ordinary connection. This person doesn't love easily. So that's why they were baffled. I'm also hearing that this person also consulted their friends about you because they were just trying to figure out why they can't get over you. They were trying to hide how they truly felt, but this person's feelings for you are astronomical. The next card says, I fell in love the moment I saw you. And the reason why they fell in love with you the moment that they saw you is because you two are spiritually connected. You also had an instant attraction to them as well. For some of you, this started off as a one night stand. For some of you, it was just friends with benefits. And over time, this turned into love. But they ran away because they weren't looking for commitment at the time. They had you all up in your head. They had you confused. They were giving you mixed signals. And they were in and out of your life. And I feel like it just became all too much. And either this person walked away or you called it quits. But you guys are in separation right now. But they can't stop thinking about you. They're also reaching out to you telepathically. You guys are getting song downloads and you could also be seeing this person in your dreams. The next card says, I'm not the same person. So it looks like they've had a lot of time to think. They've had a lot of time to grow and they have made some significant changes in their life. That's why they're saying, I'm not the same person. In the past, they had a lot of options. They didn't want to settle down. They were very reckless. They always wanted to party, always had to be the center of attention, and they just lived in the moment and not thinking about the consequences of tomorrow. The next card says, I'm putting myself first right now. I told you this person has made some changes in their life. They used to put people first. They used to be people pleasers. They were very toxic and they cared about what others thought about them. And it's because they were insecure. And another reason why they sabotaged this connection was because they didn't feel worthy. You were both on two different levels and on two different pages. You were a go-getter. You were ambitious. You're confident. You're goal-oriented. And you had your life together. Whereas this person, it was the total opposite. But they came off as having it all. But in actuality, this person was in a bad place. This person also dresses very well. They could drive a nice car. And they seemed like they were well put together, but they had a lot of baggage that you didn't know about. And that's also why they didn't want to get close to you so you wouldn't find out. The next card says, this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. For some of you, this person has cleaned their life up. They realized that those people in their life were just bottom feeders. They realized that they didn't have their best interest at heart. They realized that they were causing their demise and they have let those relationships go. They walked away. Now their focus and attention is on you. Some of you could have already gotten communication from them. And for others of you, you do have communication coming in. You guys have been in separation for a while. For some of you, I'm seeing between two and five years. And trust and believe you are still at the forefront of their mind. The next card says, I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. They are ashamed and embarrassed for their actions. They wish that they would have never played these games with you. They wish that they would have given you a true commitment. They wish that they would have been more open and honest with their feelings. 
And it's because you put your all into this relationship. You were ride or die for them. You bent over backwards for them. And you did everything to make it work. I'm seeing blood, sweat, and tears. You did things for this person that you wouldn't normally do in other relationships. And they broke your heart. This breakup tore you to pieces. And this is what they're reflecting on. That's why it says you deserve so much more. But they are sorry for messing everything up because nothing has gone right in their life since walking away from you. Those other relationships didn't work out like they thought. In fact, their life went from bad to worse. That's why you had the card that says, I'm not the same person and I'm putting myself first right now because they have cut those toxic people out of their life. The next card says, we both need time to heal. Your person needed to heal some things in their life, which is why they were acting so irrational. And you also needed to heal some things in your life as well. And this card is also confirmation that your person is healing. I hope our paths will cross again in the future. They want a second chance collective. They want a do-over. They definitely want to make their wrongs right. I'm getting a very isolating energy. This person is by themselves. And I'm hearing, I just want to talk to you. I want to have a conversation with you about what really happened and what was going on. This person is ready to open up and tell you everything. The next card says, I'm working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. So that's the second card on your person wanting to return, but it's saying, please wait for me, which is telling me that they're still healing and there's still some kind of transformation going on with them. For some of you, this person could also be going to rehab or some kind of counseling. I'm also hearing mental health issues, but they're headed in the right direction and they're just trying to get their life right. For some of you, this person has also turned spiritual, believe it or not. And it's because when they walked away from you collective, they walked straight into karma. The universe was not having it. For some of you, this person has lost their job. They are going through it emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, you name it. And for some of you, their health isn't good because of the toxic lifestyle that they were leading. They could have had a heart attack or a stroke. For some of you, they also had a near death experience, but something drastically happened to them which is why they are awakening, which is why it says I'm not the same person, which is why it's saying I'm putting myself first right now. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. And one of your other cards said, I fell in love the moment I saw you. I told you their feelings and emotions for you were out of this world. That's why your first card said, I don't understand what this connection really is because this person doesn't like to connect because they always like to be in control. But you changed up the game and struck a chord in this person's heart. For some of you, this person has never been in love, or should I say they have never been in love like this before. And it's because this is a divine union. So in the extended reading, we're going to see why are they having this change of heart now? What does their social circle look like? Who are they hanging around? Did they really leave their toxic past behind? Should you trust their motives? And then we're going to pull more messages like this to see what else they're wanting to tell you. But before we go, let's get some higher self cards. What are the final messages for this reading, Holy Spirit? Acceptance. I feel like both of you have accepted what has happened and you're both healing. For some of you though, I feel like this pain was really deep and they hurt you to your core and you have moved on. For some of you, you are already in new relationships and others of you, you could just be dating and putting yourself back out there on the market. On this card, this woman is looking in the mirror. So this is definitely giving me twin flame vibes, but I also feel like you're looking in the mirror collective and you know that you deserve better. You're knowing your self-worth and that was part of your lesson. But with the mirror, you were a reflection of each other and that's why you had to go through these lessons. And that's why you both came on each other's path to help each other awaken and heal. The next card is forgiveness. That's also a lesson that you both had to learn. There were also people in your past and people in their past that you needed to forgive. And I'm also seeing childhood trauma on both sides that you needed to heal and forgive. The next card is worthiness. This also taught both of you self-love. 
And I said earlier on in the reading that your person was very insecure. They didn't know their self-worth. But as you can see, that one card says, I'm putting myself first right now. And you also had to know your worth collective with dealing with this person. Because I also said that you were doing things that you wouldn't normally do in a relationship. And for some of you, you were accepting this person's behavior, which is why acceptance is here. And you knew that you were settling for someone who wasn't worthy of your time. And the last card is change. This breakup had to happen because there needed to be changes. And I also feel like you both fear change. This relationship has changed both of you. You're looking at things in a new perspective and so are they. And this is a part of your journey with this person. Even though these were hard lessons to learn, it has made both of you stronger. And when everything is in alignment, that's when union is going to happen. But just know that this isn't over and your person is coming back for you. All right, you guys, these are your messages. Let's take this to the extended reading. The extended readings are for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you guys are free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.